When I first started looking for colleges, I never thought I would end up being at school in Florida, but um, then when I came here, I just was blown away by the campus. I loved it. Um, so I just kind of fell in love with Rollins. I've seen myself change over the past four years now that I look back um, from when I started here as a freshman. And But I think a lot of them, such as like my perception of beauty and um, what I think is beautiful based on being here um, is very unconscious. It's kind of just in this environment. Before I came to Rollins, I went to a public uh, state school and we wore like jeans and hoodies and t-shirts and here girls wear lily dresses, Shaq Rogers, they spend a lot more time getting ready for class so I definitely do the same to like keep up. I think that I've started judging people's bodies more, including my own, more than I ever used to before coming to Rollins and have had to catch myself like and make myself stop thinking that way. When I go to class, I dress up more. I went to University of Arizona before I came to Rollins, and um, I wore sweatpants to class there, and here I would probably dress up more. Like some, A lot of people wear dresses. I've grown up for most of my life in Columbus, Ohio. I went to school for most of my teen years at a small girls' school, um, Columbus School for Girls. Getting ready for school, I used to just throw my hair back in a ponytail and um, put on a headband. I didn't really think about what I looked like. I just rolled out of bed and it didn't matter at all. I like, never would wear makeup. Um, and if I did, it was normally just on the weekends and I'd wear eyeliner or something, but nothing more. And um, when it came to wearing heels, I would, I'd wear them for winter formal or prom, special events, but other than that, I never wore heels. You never know. A girl's always got to look good. You need a makeup that really lasts. Color Stay Makeup, only from Revlon. For naturally beautiful skin, in any light, Olay Daily UV. I believe that the folks on Madison Avenue that are trying to market product services, everything from toothpaste to cars, they really keep tabs on 
what is going on with the American woman? What is she thinking? What is she feeling? What is important to her? What are the pressures that she feels? Because women are a hugely important target for advertisers. So the beauty ideal is often white, um, it's thin, it's someone who is young, she has like smooth hair, it's often um, long, blonde, um, although it doesn't have to be, she has light eyes, she's able-bodied, generally heterosexual. Uh, if she's a woman of color, she's also light-skinned, um, she you know, is flawless, she won't have freckles. Perhaps I have to go back like the so-called confusion state. So confusion state, in a confusion state, the beauty of women actually a lot to do with virtue, with morality, than just physical attributes. So in that society, actually, women is very conservative. It's not they want to be, but the society forced them to be very conservative. Well, I think that they increasingly strive for a Western beauty ideal, or at least they're impacted by a Western beauty ideal. Um, and so because they are marketed by Western companies, they're marketed with similar campaigns. And so even though the beauty ideal may be ethnically, nationally, regionally more specific, it still adheres to a sort of Western ideal that's based on flawless skin and a, a series of characteristics like being young, um, pretty, whatever that may be defined, light-skinned generally.
if you look at the, all these you know, huge advertisement, the media portraits, through movies, you know, all this, uh, you see younger and uh, energetic, and also appear to be, to me at least, is more like a Western oriented beauty yeah, quality. Uh, the traditional one, I think, it still holds some kind of moral standards. Um, well, increasingly, Western images, popular culture, particularly um, culture that's generated within the United States, um, is mass advertised, right? So we see um, advertising campaigns that are global in nature, which is beginning to shape the perceptions of women worldwide so that we see an increase, for example, in places like Ghana of lightning creams for skin. Um, we see um, eye surgeries that are continuing to take place in China um, for, to correct what's called like a droop. Um, and so we see that Western advertising in a global age where people are able to get it online, um, where increasingly they're able to see Western advertising in shows, is changing the way that women worldwide think about themselves and their bodies. Since coming to Rollins, I feel like my perceptions of beauty have become a lot more stereotypical. Um, I highlight my hair now, I um, wear at least some makeup almost every day. I kind of feel like sloppy if I'm just in my gym clothes all day. I prefer to wear regular clothes to class. 